Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. My name is Blackbird and in this episode we're gonna continue our adventure. We're gonna leave Kukiri Forest and I gotta say, uh, this is my first time leaving Kukiri Forest. I never played anything past by on this part of the game and previously I had some memory flashes and I, I really idea what I had to do. Now I have no clue so from now on onwards this is totally blind. So let's go! Oh, hey, cutscene. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you'll leave the forest someday, Link. Because you're different from me and my friends. So, I guess the conjecture I did at the end of the last episode uh, was right. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Oh... That's so cute. Why don't you have this ocarina? Please, take good care of it. Man, I... <laughs> you know, this is cute. I guess the relation between the two is really cute. No, having a memento of someone to take, to take care and, and remember from them and remember them. I, I know this feeling, I have something like this. And, you know, this is quite important. <laughs> for at least for me it's important so I can relate with the two especially because the two are parting ways you know he's living to, to a dangerous mission if she I, I don't know if she knows of what, what Link's mission is but when you play my ocarina I hope you will think of me and come back to visit me to for the forest to visit sorry <laughs> steps of hesitation Man, saying goodbye like this, you know, <laughs> you know, it got me watching the scene. I, I can imagine someone watching this in, in the place and all the two experiment experimenting this. And they break to the right of high rule field. Now, you know, this is a moment on most games that, for me, is one of the most terrifying moments in, when I play RPGs. It's a moment when I'm released on the world map without much idea what I have to do. Only, only I have a general idea that I have I must go there, but no indications. I, I'm always remember Final Fantasy II when I was playing that game on the Dawn of Souls, and I got completely lost because I had no clue what I had to do. Look up here. It appears the time has finally come to you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That's your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go straight up this way and you'll see the Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and Z and R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot showing which way you should go next. You get that way? Yes. If I had pressed it directly, you will repeat all the messages? Great way to make sure I'm paying attention to the, what the, NPC, the NPCs are saying, Nintendo. Alright then, I'll see you around. Hoot hoot, hoot hoot. Oh no, let me say this in a proper way. Okay. I, I, hope, I hope I did it as a good owl. So let's, let's look at the map screen and see this, this map. I guess one of my complaints was kind of solved by this game. So I gotta go to the castle, who is apparently straight away if I keep running. Great. But, but like I was saying, this is one of the problems that I find in games at times. When I'm around the... Okay, nothing came down from this room. When I'm on a world map and I have no indication what to do, I usually, you know, it's one of those things that I'm usually afraid when playing games is getting lost. I maybe I don't have such a a great exploration bond inside of me that I like checking every corner, but I like checking checking in every corner and finding everything, knowing when I can where I have to go, if I can just 
stop the exploration and continue with the storyline. Oh, wait. The gate closed at night? Oh, oh. Man. Oh. You better. Oh, I should have checked their names. You got a heart. Well, I guess I'll have to wait until they to get into the castle. Come on. Now I can see your name. Stalsho. Don't be afraid of the Stalsho. Just attack it repeatedly. Okay. If you say so, Navi. Oh. Fine, Ruppy. I'll do what I would prefer. Get out of the way. I think I would prefer a piece of heart, but hey, rupees are not bad. And here we have a boulder that I'll probably need a bomb to explode later. Anything on the trees, like a heart or rupees, a piece of day is coming. So it's great to see that the game has a, a night and day cycle and that was not only on, on the majority. At least on the Nintendo 64, of course, because the Twilight Princess has a night and day cycle. Oh! A, a heart fell! Oh my god, I lost a heart. Okay, let's go! Let's go inside! Okay, welcome to Royal Castle Town. It's a peaceful, prosperous town. As always. That's it, of course, until evil attacks. Well, let me talk with this guy. Man, I'm so worried. Things will be surely more sure be more interesting if there were more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me, okay? Anyway, maybe we can let off some scene by breaking all these jars. Stand near the jar and press A to lift it. Okay, so I can lift it and toss it. Throw it. Oh. Okay. It is it's faster than my sword. Okay, let I'm gonna break this. At least we have some rupees at some when I want to upgrade it. Upgrade some equipment or, or buy some item or potions or anything of the like. I have rupees. Break this. Break all the pots. Do I have pots to break? More pots to break. Okay. I there's a pot over here. One more pot broken. I can hit it. No, I need another angle. Come on. And by here, I can... Can I hit it? Okay, and I got nothing. Anyway, sir, do you have anything for me? After breaking all the pots. Man, I'm so bored. Give him nothing. Sir, did I broke all the, all the pots? No, I didn't broke all the pots. So. Now, do you have anything for me now I, bro I broke all the pots? No. Okay. I'll break out the, the crates. Oh, it's cool. Club. Okay, we got a gold school club. Any good item here, please give me something. More rupees. More rupees. No. One more to go. Nothing. So let's go out and continue exploring Hyrule Town Castle Town. Be the market. You're the thief from Majora's Mac Mask. I recognize you. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Okay. If I follow you, where are you going? Okay.
can't tell when. Oh, no, I can't talk of them. Can't talk of these people. You know about the tempo of time that we have here, have in the northeast part of the town. Legend says the, the time is the entrance of the sacred realm. Do you know that? Oh, this may be useful later. Have you heard the legend of the shadow folk? They are the Sheikha, the shadows of the Helions. I guess the Smash Bros. spoiled that a little bit for me. They say they were out this war allegiance to the King of Hyrule and guarded the royal family. But with the long peace, no one has seen Sheikha around here for a long time. However, I heard there is one Sheikha woman living in the castle. Please, with C, please sell me something. Please, with C, sell me with C. Okay, Navi. The great decorator wanted us to go visit the. Okay. Well, the man is trying to tell me to s to sell him stuff. I want to sell him some stuff. I can't sell him anything though. Aren't you Romani? I should meet you only on the next game. Hey, your clothes are. Di di hey, your clothes are different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Melon. My dad owns a long, long ranch. Dad went up to the castle to deliver some milk. And he hasn't come back yet. Oh. Dad went... Okay. Um, I guess I can't buy anything in the shops yet. So, wait. The temple you're talking is, is this... Oh, more of those mysterious rocks. And I can't open it and see what they have to say. Okay. Let me check this tempo. Oh, an ominous shark. That's always awesome. This place looks so pretty. Anything here? There are three hollows and scriptures here. Ye who on three spiritual sons stand and play the Ocarina of Time. And and Ye who on three spiritual stands and with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time, that is how the inscription reads. Okay. Where any place to go? Okay, it's empty. Since this game is for the Ocarina of Time, I need to search with things. So uh, I'm gonna bet that we need to come back here later. So let's move into the castle and continue this starting part of the game. It's interesting to notice how many art assets they used on Majora's Mask that were from this game. I think that oh, this is obvious, of course, that that they use the materials from the game from the, the the previous game to make the next one. But I still find it, find it a little bit. Uh, how can I say it? Oh, you again, Hailing, This way, the princess is inside the castle just ahead. Oh, great! It's not like Mario, is it, where the princess is never inside the castle. Be careful to not get caught by the guards. <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing this. On this ground, time flows normally, but time stands still while you're in the Lone Lone Ranch or in a town. So if you want time to pass normally, you need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? <laughs> you want to hear what I said again? Why Nintendo is putting the, the, the repeat options first? I mean, they want me to make sure that I make I'm paying attention to the text so I can avoid reading it all again let's see if there's anything in here oh you you pay for having the mage in me this I got hearts here so so let me talk with the guard. Let's see if he'll let me go in. 
So you say you want to see the Princess Zelda, huh? You probably heard about her in the town and decided to meet her. Well, go home, get out of here. The princess will never grant an audience to the likes of you. Hey, you're not a nice person. So that means I'll need to go around and, and get into the castle. Okay, and here's another one of those... The statue of one eight guys bursts into your mind. Here. What, Navi? You want me to hit this? Just like that, that previously like in the dungeon? Let me see. Oh. Hey, kid, stop. You kid over there. Okay, I guess it was na naive for me to, you know, try to get around and see the quartz. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? What do you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for another to do. Tee hee. Oh yeah, if you're looking for him, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Tee hee. What am I do gonna do with an egg? I'm gonna eat it? Nintendo. I'm, I'm not gonna question the game, I'm just gonna play it. Can I escape? Go over the tree or something like that? No, apparently not. Apparently I can't. So I have to climb those vines, okay. Apparently, I need to climb the vines that connect to the... Can you please stop falling, Link? Link! Link, we have a problem here. You know, you're supposed to be helping me with this, and it's in our best interest in me playing the game and you saving Hyrule, but you know you don't want to climb the, the vine. This may be a problem, so I guess I'll have to jump down here and... Please... Go down here and avoid being seen. And night has fallen. Oh, someone is singing. Is it Zelda? No. No, Zelda will be singing Zelda's theme, not Zelda's theme, no? And that is a bonus song. I guess I'll need to break this with a bomb again later. So I, I imagine that... Oh my god. So close. I need that. I imagine that it was... Okay. I can hear... When I get closer... Okay, I believe it's Mel. Mal so if her father brought milk, that means that... That uh, she and she's singing upon a song that that means that probably she has anything, something to do with upon or getting upon her. Okay, there's guards here and there's a rugged wall. So I, well, I can climb the wall, but if Link is, decides to help me, just maybe uh, another one of the rocks. Maybe. There's guards there, so. Let it go into the water and get around. Wait, what? The egg turned into a chicken? Okay, coloring present. There's anything in this tree? A rupee. Yay! Okay, come here. Oh my god, it's. M you know, you're, you're, you're snoozing like a pig. And you look like Mario. Look at your arms. Oh my god. Wait. Mumbo. 
The range is so far, and come on and look around. I shoot you here. Can, can I shoot you with a pallet? Can I? No, I can't cut you with a sword. Zelda is contextual. I have a chicken that was given by me by, I believe, which person who is your daughter. So, let me try this. Yep, my intuition worked again. Can the person get a little shit eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of the Long Long Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I saw down there and to the rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malone was looking for me? I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up badly leaving Malone behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. And the man is apparently afraid of his child. But, you know, you deserve some beating because leaving your child alone in the middle of a city is not a good idea. I quest I need to push this because this is in a lower place and there's a, a pathway there that was being blocked by him, so... So far the puzzles have been pretty easy, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bite my tongue later because I'll probably get on into one of those hard to solve puzzles and I won't be able to solve the puzzle because I'm oh no either because I'm stupid or because or because I'm an overconfident idiot. No, there's uh, something on the Zelda uh, on Zelda games. Usually the first three parts of the game are, are pretty straightforward and then sometime sometime around the, the second or the third dungeon, the game throws you a curve uh, curveball and you can't solve the if I can push this and you get a puzzle that you can't solve. Okay, so I guess I need to get over here and jump here and go into the castle. Okay, castle courtyard. Okay. I guess... Oh, there's a guard here. Better avoid him. Where are you moving, Mr. Guard? I need to hide here. E okay. So if one of these guards catch me, I'm gonna be thrown away. Oh, I'm gonna hide here. I hope he... Oh, oh, oh thankfully. Watch your movement pattern. I need to, I need to watch them moving and learn them. So they're going to the middle. Oh, they're going to, into circle. So when when they they start going up, uh, I'll rush. Okay, I'll rush around here and. Oh. So I need to go. Can I? There's a red ruby there. I want that red ruby. Maybe if I follow behind the guard, maybe if I follow behind him, I, I can get great. And now I just gotta hope that he don't won't start moving counterclockwise. Okay, my God, I'm so tense. <laughs> my hands are sweating. I don't want to be thrown away and have to do all this again. Okay. Yeah, finally, one more. So what I have to do here is Okay, they're moving in circles, so when this guy oh My god. You could move a little bit faster. So I'm gonna have to wait this guy go. Okay. 
they won't look... Oh my god. Thankfully he stopped at you. Oh great! Goodness. Can we move here? Where are the guards? Oh, they are here. Wait. Oh, oh, they're just moving here. Okay, this is... This one is easy. And we are... Did we got where we had to go? Oh my god! Yes! And... That's Zelda. Okay! Oh man, this is great. Anyway, oh, I love this music, dude. I, I, move, I love this mu music theme. Zelda theme is probably one of my favorite themes on the whole series. There, there's no theme here. I thought it was a swim place that I could try to get some rupees, but I got 99 rupees. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here, so next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're gonna talk with Princess Zelda. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!